Hey, how's it going? This is Aaron Hilliard from Mushroom Wonderland. I'm the creator of Mushroom Wonderland here on YouTube. I'm also the vice president of the Kitsap Peninsula Mycological Society, and I've been foraging mushrooms since I was about eight years old. Uh, it is the height of morel season right now in the spring in the Pacific Northwest. I've made a couple of videos about morels already, but we haven't talked much about burn morels. So the morels that you see uh, being sold in grocery stores are all found in uh, forest fire areas. So wherever a forest fire happened last year, there's a good chance that morels are fruiting this year. As those trees burn, it sends a signal to these mushrooms that it's time to find new habitat. On this video, my wife and my dog and I went over to Eastern Washington and we did get lucky. So come with me on Mushroom Wonderland. Mushroom Wonderland. I'm starting to see definite dead uh, burned trees from the Schneider Springs fire. So looks like it might rain over here. It's definitely raining over there. But yeah, this fire ran through these hillsides. Wow, look at all the burnt stuff back there. So we on the right track. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Aaron Hilliard from Mushroom Wonderland back with another episode. And today, as you can see, I'm in a uh, forest fire zone on the east side of the Cascade Mountains. This is uh, known as the, Sh the Schneider Springs fire. So over 107,000 acres burned here uh, near Natchez. And so we're, uh, we're on some forest service roads, uh, about 3,200 feet, and we're in search of burn morels. So I've done some other videos about uh, natural morels growing in Western Washington. Um, but these are the kind of areas where commercial pickers come to pick uh, just boatloads of morels. And so we're gonna go hiking out here today. Uh, it's kind of a rainy day here in uh, late, late-ish May, 2022. And uh, we got my dog and me and my wife. And uh, I have a, a tracker app going on my phone to kind of leave a trail as to where we're going. So we can hike um, way off in the woods. It seems to me that the farther we get off the beaten path, uh, the better luck we might have. So we're gonna try to hike like a mile out into this fire and hopefully uh, run into a bunch of burn morels and I got a five gallon bucket and a, and a wicker wicker basket here uh, to collect our morels in um, this one I guess could help disperse spores a little bit better and it's awfully cute this one not as much I could have drilled some holes in it but I didn't want to really uh, take that much time getting out the door this morning so I just grabbed a bucket and, uh, and it'll be just fine it's not really raining that hard. So anyways, uh, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like videos like this and leave a positive comment so I know what you're finding in your neck of the woods or uh, what you want to see on upcoming videos. So I hope you come along with me and let's go see if we can find some burn morels up in the mountains of Eastern Washington. So I like the look of this forest. You can still see some green on the trees and uh, a lot of it's pretty scorched if it got too hot there's a good chance that the mushrooms won't be growing uh, if it really damaged the mycelium yeah there's some bones of some animals out here hopefully that was dead before the fire so this fire happened in 2021 August 2021 uh, it was sparked by lightning so it was a natural fire which makes me um, feel not so bad about it you know it's like meant to happen these forests are meant to catch on fire and a lot of people believe that these mushrooms are dependent on the fire to grow so um i've heard it said that they might live like actually in between the cells inside the trees until a, a fire sweeps through so these these mushrooms can be living in the tree roots for 40 50 years and then when a fire finally comes through then they will finally, uh, they'll turn into saprophytic mushrooms 
and they will fruit a whole bunch so they can move their spores out. Gotta be careful in these burns because some of these logs uh, are burned through and they'll just fall apart. And also the ground can have like cavities underneath it where the wood burned out and left a, you know, a crevasse it can be dangerous to walk on. But we can start heading up this hill. Bit of a workout hiking in these hills up here. And look out for areas like this. There was like wood underground that got all burned out. And uh, now it's just a big hole. I'm gonna tell you what, get a workout out here. Yeah, haven't seen one yet. This is about, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes of hiking. Haven't seen a single morale yet. So here's a sign that supposedly we're in the right area. You see these little cups, Paziza cups. So these are actually related to morels. They're ascomites. So that would suggest that the ground temperature around here is about right. Also, we saw some blooming trilliums, which I heard when the where the uh, trilliums are blooming. That's often where you'll find morels. So. We did see some snow and ice up a little bit higher, just very minor traces of it, but that makes me think that we're probably too high of elevation, so we're hiking back downhill. Another nice bunch of this uh, Paziza. Oh look, and here's a different kind of cup fungus. So we've got one that's more orange, and then these ones are more brown. You see this partially burnt canopy, I've also heard that's a good sign. So. I feel like we're getting warmer. Right down here we see a blooming trillium. So I've heard that's a sign of uh, we're at the right elevation for morale. So good time to slow down and get looking really close. But not too slow so that we waste a lot of time in one spot. We've been hiking around for probably an hour and, uh, and we're out here, we're kind of losing hope because we really weren't seeing any signs. And then I look over here and, uh, and right here, look at how young these are. So we got some right here, one there, one there, one there. So um, I think these are the uh, Morcella tomentosa. You can see how black that, that cap is. But with how small these are, it makes me think we're just a little bit high in elevation. Look how white the stipe is. So beautiful black morel, so quite different than the ones that I found in the other video in Western Washington that were way more blonde at this age. These ones are black from the start. So probably Marcella tomentosa. These are wonderful. So now we have found that they are growing here. We're at the right elevation and that really raises morale or morel or whatever you want to say. <laughs> so we've got a few here. And uh, so this is when we slow down. This is what I call a flag. Um, an obvious one that catches your eye and then that's when you're gonna slow down. I wouldn't spend too much time like scanning the, you know, scanning the forest floor too closely um, until you see a flag and then now we're gonna slow down and we're gonna, we're gonna scour this. So if you look, there's still needles hanging on these trees that are, that are burned. There's some younger ones and some ponderosa pine. This one is 
Douglas fir. And so it burned enough, not enough to burn all these needles off, but enough to kill the tree and all these needles are dead. There's even still green up here in the canopy. So um, right now, May, what, May 21st, we're at about uh, 2,900 feet where we are here uh, near Natchez. So um, we're going to head up into this kind of meadow area and keep our eyes peeled and see what else we can find. And if you look down here, we see a ton of uh, pine needles. So they do grow under pine as well. And uh, yeah, pretty exciting. So let's, uh, let's get to picking. Three lonely little mushrooms. These are very young, so I think we need to hike downhill. So, my wife's yelling. I think we found some more. So you can see a pretty open canopy here. Let's see what she found. Yeah, there's a fire came through here pretty good. Let's see what she got. Gone, gone. Come here. I was stepping on. Oh, dang. Now, hold on. There was some bigger ones I just saw, too. Yeah, there's a bunch right there. Yeah, yep, yep. And there's three by your foot. Gunner's stepping on them. So here we go. Beauties. Oh, my gosh. Lots of them. Beauties. Can you have me my old oh, paint? So those ones are a little bit older, yep. Hollow all the way through. And you really want to be careful to get all the dirt off when you cut it because this sand will get in the bucket and then they get in the morels and it's super crunchy and it'll just ruin a tasty morel dish. Boom, now we're starting to get some. All right, that's what we came for. Cool, good find, honey. So it goes to show this big wide open meadow they're they're growing here oh there's a nice one. Oh, and another one all right <laughs> yeah oh, there's a baby coming up right there look at that so it is sandy right here i'm going to try to knock as much sand off as possible there's another beauty Finding some more there. Yeah. This one's uh, got kind of a green tint to it. Ooh, we're gonna have steak with morels tonight. Beautiful. Another one. There's another one. So I'm really gonna make an effort to cut the base off and try to blow or knock all the sand off of this that I can. A couple of really little tiny babies. Popping up here underneath this burned up little bush. Oh, oh nice. Oh my gosh, there's more right here. Oh, they like to grow in these little pits. It's all dry. <laughs> she baby talks them around. Yeah, here's three pretty dry guys. Pre, oh, and you saw that one, right? Pretty dried. Yeah, yeah, and that one. Go. Go ahead and get it. She don't want the bird poop one. I see a nice one right here. Oh, and uh, oh, that's a beauty. Look at this. Look at the stature of that. Oh, I'm having a hard time focusing. There it is. Yep, I saw that guy too. And when we're down, crouch down like this. Now you can scan around like this and see him standing up. Spot. But these ones also like to grow in the little craters and the crevices. So once your eyes get trained to see the little holes, you seem easier to, to spot. You get better with practice. And when you look here, there's veins and veins, clusters and clusters. Oh yeah, baby. 
Look at all these. Look at this cluster. Look at all of this. Boom, 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 boom. And they kind of go down right over there. If you work your way up toward me, look at all these young ones trying to come up right there. Oh, they go all up here, all up here. Wow. Good when you're with a partner to split up you know stay like i don't know about an acre apart where you can still be within yelling distance but you got more eyes on the ground that away wow look at all these millions of little paziza cup fungi all right here too so those are a good sign look at this monster got his head cut off a little bit but <laughs> look at the size of this mushroom that's a big burn morel. Holy crap. Like a baseball. It's pretty dry. But beautiful. Look at it compared to the rest of them. <laughs> cool. These dang pine cones can be pesky. <laughs> That's the trick, man. You see these pine cones that are standing up, they'll catch your eye. But they're lying. You gotta get a little nitty gritty when you're out here. Yeah. Cool shirt. That's my hot wife. All mushroomed out. Another little patch here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Very nice. That's like the perfect age, perfect specimen right there. Sometimes if you look super close in the sunlight, you see the spores flying off of them. Let's see if I can get it to happen. Cool. Oh, you knocked one over. Oh, hello. There's one. Going right next to this tree. Oh, there's a massive beetle chilling on it. That's where I, I saw a beetle on one also. What are you doing, dude? Get out of here. He's trying to take refuge on the mushroom. All right, we're on the walk back to the truck. We got, uh, I don't know, a couple pounds of nice morels. Weather is beautiful. So... Figure out where last year's forest fire was and then walk up into the um, habitat like I described and uh, maybe you can find some too.
yummy. Do you want to eat those, buddy? These burn morels are like really dry and pretty crumbly. Some of them are a little more moist, but compared to the morels that I picked on the west side, these ones seem to be a lot drier, but um, you do have a pretty good amount of meat there. There we go, some uh, burn morel hash with potatoes and onions, some green beans and sirloin steaks all in the uh, Dutch oven. What do you think? Really good. Really good. All right, we're having our uh, morel hash and steak and beans and stuff camping, so thanks for joining another episode of Mushroom Wonderland and uh, Go get your burn morels and we'll see you on the next video. Much love everybody. Peace.